I've heard people say things are never as they seem. I think that's true. I live in Reykjavik, Iceland. I'm nine years old. This is my mom, Bala. She's always running around, going different places. She needs my help because she usually forgets things. Last time she took a trip, she forgot to pack her passport, but I reminded her. Mom taught me how to fly fish when I was really young. We go fishing around Iceland as much as possible. It's our favorite thing to do together. You need to bite. Bite it. I mean, I've been fishing with my dad since forever. I mean, he had taught me how to fish. He taught me how to work hard. And I think one of the most important things he taught me was I can do it on my own. And that's the same how I raise her. Because we're all very much like me, my father and Matilda. What, did you get the fish? Yeah. Oh! Whoa! Wow. It's Matilda, the booger eater. <laughs> Stop it! I'm not a booger eater! It's disgusting. Today, Mom's going to Greenland but I can't come. Mom says I can't go there until I'm older. I can't wait. I want to know what Greenland's really like. It isn't actually green, but I think it's very beautiful there. It's kind of an unspoiled place where people live more in harmony with nature. In Greenland, everyone travels by boat, which is much nicer than using a car. It's a simpler place without all the problems we have in big cities. Even though I think it's nice there in the summer, it can also be cold sometimes. My grandparents started a fishing and hunting business before my mom was even born. Now my mom works there with them. My mom works really hard at her job, but when she's away, I think she just goes fishing. When she's at work, my mom's the boss. Everyone has to listen at what she says. Excuse me, could I get a cup of coffee, please? Yeah, yeah. that happens a lot. They don't think I'm here for the fishing, but I don't really mind so much. Are you fishing today? Nice. Boys can be annoying. They think they know everything. Yeah, out, mate, up. Woo! Hey! Silas! Yeah! Oh, mate! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Hello 
there with you. When it's 10 days, I will miss her a lot. Somehow to me, it comes naturally. Being on the river just gets you away from everything. You're here and you're being yourself and you're kind of focusing on things that really matters. Yeah, I think life kind of puts you where you're supposed to be in some ways. You know, I think I was supposed to have Matilda. When I realized I was pregnant and I was only 19, I was kind of in a crossroads in my life. So for me, it was a kind of a wake up moment. Now I had another person coming and that was my own responsibility. And I couldn't just think about myself. Yeah, I was totally on my own terms and finding my own ways how I wanted to raise her. It's my life and that's how it turned out. And I'm glad and that's something I want her to have as well. Matilda's nine. 10 in December. I would like to teach her that she will be independent. She can stand her own two feet. She doesn't need anybody else. She can figure things out on her own. I mean, if she wants to be an actress, so she will be, or fishing, she can do that. Whatever she wants, just as long as she does it in her own terms. Quite honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. You were born into this world alone, and you will leave it alone. And you will raise your kids, and but it's still your story. And I want Matilda to make her own story. Master, grandfather wants to go fishing with you immediately. Grandpa says mom was the same way when she was my age. He says we're a lot alike. I think that's true. 